Hello everyone. Happy Sunday evening. Hopefully I'm not interrupting anyone's football games. Uh, the team I meet, I watch was earlier today, so I know uh, since football games have started, I may be interrupting a little bit here and there, but hopefully not too bad. Hi Kim, hi Tina, and hi Dodie, and Annette. And I see Kim shared, so I'm gonna put Kim's name into the drawing. If uh, whoever shares will get their name into the drawing and um, you'll get the card we're making plus a couple other ones. Uh, before I start making the cards, I do have, hi Kathy, I do have um, good news. Our catalog is now available to order for. Okay, Dodie, thank you for sharing. I'm going to get your name in there. And so these cards um, are cards. Uh, last Yesterday I went to a meeting with uh, my upline, upline, Kathy, my sister, is my upline, and then Jennifer Cotton is hers. And so Jennifer does meetings once a month that we go to, and we do swaps. And what a swap is, is depending on how many people, say 10 people signed up, you would make 10 of the same card. And then um, everybody gets a card, a different one. So these are some of the ones I ended up with. They're not all of them, but these are the ones from the new catalog. Um, we also put the cards out and uh, everybody that's at the meeting, um, votes on it to see which one they like the best and this is the one that won yesterday and if you can tell it is a snow globe it does have a plastic here that um, is raised up so you could put some snowflakes underneath it the paper behind it is beautiful here's some more paper that we have in the new catalog that you don't have to do anything else you can put the paper a sentiment and you're done if you haven't looked at the new catalog, you're going to want to. Yes, and we do have, let me catch up here with the, the shared. I've got Kathy and Annette. Oh, let me see if I can scroll down a little bit here. I got Dodie. I got Tina. Okay, now i got to see who all I got in here. Okay, I've got Dodie. I've got Kim. Let me get Tina, Tina, Kathy, and Annette. Okay, if anybody else shared and I didn't just say your name, let me know. Got Dodie, Kim, Tina, Kathy, and Annette. Okay, there is in the holiday catalog, the Wicked, isn't that cute? There's uh, Halloween items. Look at this little guy. This set has three little monsters and they are the cutest things. I just love them. Really pretty paper in there. There is fall items, the leaves, uh, this embossing folder. I don't know if you can see in the back, it's sort of dark here where I'm looking, but it's a wreath. And then of course there are Christmas items. Now this set here, that has this little deer. It is in the back of our catalog here. $3 for every sale goes to mental health organizations on this set. This is $21. You get these items. There's snow, uh, the little trees, the bunny, the fox. Really cute set. So anyways, let me just sort of show a couple things. One thing I did want to show you in this catalog Oh, look at some of this paper. Beautiful paper. Look at this kit. It is a Christmas countdown project kit. So a little advent calendar. You get all this stuff to decorate it and put it together. That's $30. So there's some really fun, cute things. Look at, here's this paper that I was talking about. Uh, let me see if there's... Here's a better picture of it. If you can see that, 
It has all the different winter sceneries on it. And let me see if I find those little monster guys. There's a, for New Year's. Look at these little monster guys. I love these little guys, aren't they cute? So anyways, if you haven't seen the catalog, go online, uh, delightfulfun.stampingup.net and you can look at that catalog there. Or leave me a message here and I will get one out to you. Okay, another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, paper pumpkin kits. You have two more days. You have until September the 10th to sign up for the Halloween kit. I don't know what's going to be in it, but I do know it says it includes 20 bone chilling treat boxes. So I'm not sure if they'll be coffins or if they'll just be, I don't know. We don't know until it comes in, but this is last month's kit that came in. It has these little bags and then we we're able to make all these different gift tags with it. And of course it always comes, it had six bags so you could make six gift tags, but look at how many I made. Uh, I made six of each, so I made 12 and there's still leftover stuff in here. So you always get plenty, plenty, plenty um, of stuff that you can use on other projects. So that's the paper pumpkin. After I finish with the video, I'll also post a link. Um, if you would like, you can go month to month. You can do one month, or you can go month to month. You can buy a three month subscription, a six month, a 12 month. Um, you just have to be sure when you don't want to get any more that you call and cancel it. Now, the last thing I want to tell you about is we are having a designer series paper special this month. It is buy three, uh, get one free. And a lot of the sets are included. Um, the woven threads, Magnolia Lane, Garden Lane, Follow Your Art, all those are included in the sale. The Bird Ballot, Dinosaur um, Roar, Dino Roar, the Pernilia Essence, See a Silhouette, Come Sail Away, and the Pressed Petals. All of those uh, you can mix, match, buy all the same, whatever you want. Buy three, get one free. Great deal. So, all right, tonight the card that I am going to be making is this one. It's a fairly fast and easy card. I am using um, the copper foil sheets on this. And we do have, let me see if I can find it real fast in the catalog. Um, page 169. Okay, we do have black, champagne, copper, gold, and silver few more minutes okay so there's all different kinds you can use with this one I am using the copper so I am also using the painted glass stamp set it is like it has some really nice um, writing on the sentiments and stained glass look okay so I am going to be using the butterfly, of course, with this, and the sentiment, have a beautiful birthday. And I have gotten some graph paper here. The color I'm using is Mary Merlot. So same for the, the background. And so I am going to start by stamping my butterflies, and I put it on the graph paper here, and then I'm using a plain sheet of um, coffee paper, just something to mask it with. I found this uh, card, or one like it, on Pinterest. Um, Connie Stewart 
had done four different cards. Um, you can do just about any stamp set you have with this, the way this is done, and it's really easy. So I covered part of the paper. You can do it wherever you want. I did it about halfway. And I'm just gonna stamp butterflies randomly here. And I have this paper here so that it doesn't go over. I can put as much as I want, as little as I want. And I leave this on the graph paper because I cut a little quarter inch piece of the foil paper. And I am going to use a little bit of glue here but this graph paper will help me to hopefully get it sort of straight. It's This is sort of narrow to put any of your uh, tape on. That's why I'm using the glue. And I'm just going to sort of line it up here. Oops. And put it down on there. Just like that. All right, that's that part. And then I am going to take a scrap piece of paper so I can do the sentiment here. And while I have the ink out before I put it away, I am also going to put just a couple little butterflies on a piece of paper for the inside. So I'm just gonna randomly put a few here. And that will be the inside of our card. Okay. Now I am using the stitched nest nested label dies. You get a variety of labels here, all different sizes. This is a straight one, you can cut it in half if you want. It still has the stitching. So I'm using one a little bigger, one a little smaller to do these. So let me pull in the big shot real fast because I did not already cut these out. Okay, I'm gonna cut out this smaller. Use a smaller one to cut out the sentiment here. Just like that. Got a little crooked, but it'll be okay. And then I'm going to cut out a piece of the foil paper with the larger one. Now when you're doing the foil paper with die cuts, it's better to cut a piece off, a little square that you're gonna be doing, because sometimes if you use a whole sheet and run it through, it marks up the foil. So if you just cut what you're gonna need and then use that, it saves you on a, a little bit of worry there. Okay, let me get this back out of the way. I've got a little boy standing here by me waiting to do the drawing, so we'll be doing that in just a few minutes. Okay, now we are going to put this together, and again, I'm gonna use some uh, glue since it's foil sheet. I don't know, it seems like the tape doesn't uh, always stick as well. So I'm gonna put that right on there and let me bring in my base card here oh i didn't bring my let me grab my uh phone folder 
I like the bone folder to get a nice crisp fold on there. And we will use the tape now to put this on. I will use some dimensionals. Now I know I pulled those over here, but maybe not. Let me grab those. Put them on the back of here. And we will pop the sentiment up a little bit. You can put it up, up on top, down below. If you have a mark on your paper that you want to cover, put it there. And there we go. And then I will put the inside. And there we have it. That is another pretty fast, easy card to do. But I hope you enjoyed that. Um, the main things I wanted to tell you was you got to look at the new catalog. Uh, don't forget about Paper Pumpkin. And if you have any questions on anything, just let me know. Thank you, Dodie. Okay, I think we are ready for the drawing. Okay. Can you mix them up here? And Cash is going to draw. Can you pull one out? Just one. Okay, open it up and put it under here so we can see who it is. Hurry up. Okay, and put it under there. Oh, look at that. Who do you think you drew? Um, Auntie Kathy. Auntie Kathy, very good. Congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner. Cash drew your name. She's going to be happy with you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> You guys all have a great evening, and we will talk to you. Oh, hi, Landa. Thank you. We will talk to you next Sunday. Bye-bye.